解什么工程了。当前要继续集中力量，抓好湖北省，尤其是武汉市疫情防控。害怕，说不害怕是假的。然后一摸一量那个体温三十七度五，我说完蛋了完蛋了。不要以为武汉人都犯病了。生命太脆弱。我来了，来了！我一定要，一定要活着出去。这两天，来自上海、浙江、海南、江西的医疗队先后出发成。十点起，全市城市公交、地铁、轮渡、长途客运暂停运营。Ten a.m. January twenty-third, Wuhan goes into lockdown, an effort to stop a deadly virus from spreading further through the nation. 是看到整个武汉市都公交车、地铁全部封城了，然后还有很多人都没办法。Chen Hung, a migrant worker, was among those who were forced to stay. So, we have the roads, all the roads are closed. So, we have to go outside. There are many people, many people, many people, many people, many people. He and his fellow workmates finally found a shelter, an underground parking lot. We are going to go to what is it? There is a place where they are going to stay. 刚好那天晚上下雨，下雨我们找了个地方躲了一下，雨下起来，我们在慢慢慢慢的走，就走了半路的，他说不不收人了，他觉得那边人太满满了，他不要了。As Chen was walking in the rain, the number of confirmed coronavirus patients in Wuhan on day one of the lockdown was announced, 495, ten times the number two weeks earlier. Nine million people were still in the city. These authorities have traced a new deadly virus from the wildlife sold in this seafood market in Wuhan that was illegally selling wildlife. This seafood market was once believed to be the ground zero of the virus outbreak. Local authorities shut the market on January 1st, but the virus was already on the move. Dr. Zhao Zhigong was one of the first medical workers to face the virus in Wuhan. 对那个病人来说，他是从外地来的一名患者，呃，发烧，有食欲下降，有咳嗽，然后同时他的 CT 当时在当地诊断了是肺炎。然后，但是我们就是拿当时的诊断标准，因为当时诊断标准第一条很重要，一定要有华南海鲜市场的接触史。Wild animals were blamed, but evidence already pointed to human-to-human -human transmission. Eighty-three-year-old epidemiologist Zhong Nanshan, regarded as a national hero during the 2002-2003 SARS crisis, broke the news to the public. The this evidence shows that he is absolutely sure that he has human transmission. This now, most of the cases are from Wuhan or have been to Wuhan. 所以现在呢，我的总的看法呢，就是没有特殊的情况呢，是不要去武汉啊。It alerted people across China while the situation in Wuhan deteriorated. 这个实际上是有些升级了啊，这个它的传染性呢，啊，因为它的现在已经存在有人传染，同时医务人也有传染。Dr. Zhao's patient never visited the seafood market, but the virus was there anyway. Two days later, it was confirmed, and Zhao was now infected. Wuhan 
more of Zhao's co-workers started to show symptoms. Wuhan's 38,000 licensed medical workers were stretched thin as the virus progressed. As people turned up at fever clinics, the city's health system was buckling under the strain. On the second day of the lockdown, work began on a new hospital. The new Huoshanshan Hospital would have 1,000 beds specially designed to treat coronavirus patients. But one new hospital was not enough. A second emergency hospital promising another 1,600 beds was planned. On Chinese New Year's Eve, a night for family reunions, more than 1,200 medical workers across China were drafted to aid Wuhan. On New Year's Day, President Xi Jinping chaired a meeting of the Politburo Standing Committee, stressing safety and health were the top priority, and containing the epidemic was the most important task. I'm declaring a public health emergency of international concern over the global outbreak of novel coronavirus. On January 31st, the World Health Organization declared the outbreak a public health emergency of international concern. The fight to cage the viper is no longer just about Wuhan. The main reason for this declaration is not because of what is happening in China. Our greatest concern is the potential for the virus to spread to countries with weaker health systems. Cities across China started to put medical supply factories back to work. Back in Wuhan, general hospitals started to modify their regular wards into quarantine rooms for treating severely ill coronavirus patients. We entered one of the wards, but we were told that nothing could be taken into the quarantine areas, including cameras. The vice president of the hospital said that whatever goes inside needs to stay inside. Doctors and nurses have to wear two layers of protective suits, hand gloves, shoe covers, face masks and goggles before entering the special ward. Finally, a GoPro was allowed inside, which had to be put into disinfectant for a whole day after filming. During their six-hour shift, they can't drink, eat, or even use the toilet. <laughs> This is Dr. Tang Xin. He hasn't been home for two weeks. Tang says severely ill patients need special care.
一定的活动，这时候你在上升基地或者做一些治疗的时候，你就会有什么困难。The bells of the patients haven't stopped ringing. Nurses have to rush to attend them all the time. 我们好多事实上六个小时班，其实都要自己吸氧，自己拉吸氧，我吸氧。When the shift ends, Dr. Tan Shi is finally able to take off his protective gear. He has a rash all over his body. You work To keep up with the workload, medical workers need to eat more. 他们，我跟你讲，我们科室的男生比我们饭量还小，那两口就饱了，像个猫。现在女生很能吃的。对啊，你不能吃哪有力气啊？像我们就做事得靠力气，靠体力。<笑>有时候扮病人什么的，是吧？两人一张，我们有我们有三个房，呃，四个房是我们的，两人一张。两人一张。嗯，两人一张。这个那么窄。那那就将就先睡了呗。今天来的时候，你和你的小伙伴们状态都还还挺好。必须嗨起来，你不嗨起来的话，你怎么去面对？你要你要压，你要压抑下去的话，完蛋了。我们就这样。But they also have fear. 说不害怕是假的，哎，说不害怕是假的，就是当时就想到自己的孩子啊，然后想到自己的爸爸妈妈，然后就觉得万一自己有什么事，我我爸妈只有一个孩子，他们怎么办？然后我的孩子还那么小，他该怎么办？想我啦，你站远一点，我看一下你好不好？啊，是你。你看你的牙也还没有长起来，只能说跟他说这次爸爸妈妈回来以后，等这场疫情就是，就是结束以后的话，就是想带到出去玩，嗯，放东西更好。嗯，好，行。对对不起。Early February, over 10,000 medical workers from the rest of China had gone to help, and that number tripled in the following weeks. Doctors and nurses from 16 provinces were also drafted to help cities surrounding Wuhan, one province taking care of one city. Good news came out on February 2nd. The first emergency hospital, Huashanshan, started to take in severely ill coronavirus patients. Less than two weeks after construction work began. But a shortage of test kits was slowing the process of confirming cases. And there still weren't enough hospital beds. The city said it would send all confirmed patients to hospitals so that the majority of the 9 million people in lockdown could be safe. Many people with the virus were still out in the community. They needed to be separated to stop the virus spreading. Fifty-seven-year-old Wei Ching Wei tested positive for coronavirus pneumonia on January 25th. Since then, he has been staying home alone. Wei is reluctant to go to the quarantine hospital. Because of the shortage of ambulances, the local police send a van to take Mr. Wei to the hospital. After a 15-minute drive, Wei arrives at a quarantine center for non-severe patients. His anxiety eases when he opens his lunchbox at the hospital. 
Dozens of quarantine centers were now opened across the city. Those in quarantine included people who had close contact with confirmed patients, fever patients, and people with clinical symptoms that had not yet been confirmed. On February 5th, Dr. Zhao Zhegang was well enough to return to work. The fatality rate of the virus is now under 3%, less than half that for SARS. But it's more contagious. On February 3rd, the nationwide death toll reached 361, overtaking SARS. But the next day, newly confirmed patients started to slow down outside Hubei province, where Wuhan is the provincial capital, a sign that the lockdown on Wuhan might have started to work. By the third week of the lockdown, over 10,000 cases were confirmed, and tens of thousands more were suspected in Wuhan. But fewer than 200 hospital beds were available. The government decided to convert public buildings, such as stadiums and convention centers, into temporary hospitals. The first three offered more than 4,000 beds. Twenty-five year old Ms. Shen was transferred to a temporary hospital from a hotel that had been turned into a quarantine center. The temporary hospitals only take in patients with mild symptoms. Patients admitted can basically take care of themselves. This woman is waiting in line to fetch some hot water. Because of similar protective suits, a patient mistakes a CGTN reporter for his doctor. Mr. Ye is a Muslim from Qinghai province. He was infected during a trip to Wuhan. One woman is critical of the original response to the crisis. A local doctor, Li Wenliang, tried to alert people about the virus a month before the lockdown, but he was reprimanded by the local authorities. Then he too became sick. CGTN reached out to him, but he was already severely ill with the coronavirus. But that day never came. On February 7th, Lee passed away. <laughs> Amid a public uproar, the central government sent a special team to investigate the circumstances leading to Dr. Lee's death. In this battle against the virus, over 3,000 medical workers were infected in China. Many are in Wuhan. A dozen died. <laughs> A 
As doctors and nurses risk their lives in the wards, residents in Wuhan are doing their part to pull the city together. Gloves and protective suits have been donated from across China and even from overseas. Distributing them is a challenge. But here comes Wu Yang, a mother of two and an owner of a local spa, and also a volunteer. The delivery isn't easy. It takes time to find the right entrance. Most of the gates are closed to the public to prevent contamination. When we get there, doctors are already waiting. Wu's delivery is of 2,400 such medical masks, very hard to get now. Not all volunteers' families are happy about what they are doing. Then Couriers are essential in this crisis. We meet some of them who are delivering medical equipment. This one has no time to talk. We follow him to a warehouse and meet a nurse who coordinates the distribution of medical supplies. Only three express companies insisted on providing service in town, but only for sending and receiving medical goods. 你没有跟其他的公司的快递小哥交流过了，现羡羡慕羡慕他们现在。也不是羡慕，我觉得他们要羡慕我们，因为我们在疫情最严重的时候还在前线，还在为大家服务。我们觉得还是蛮自豪的
11 military aircraft brought medical teams and supplies. It's the first time that China's Y-20 transport plane is taking part in an operation outside of military drills. This is our medical team. The body is a strong force. The body is a strong force. The body is a strong force. By now, more than 30,000 medical workers had been sent to Wuhan from 29 provinces and regions. Production of protective gear was also picking up. Hubei province can now get over 300,000 N95 medical masks per day, up from 35,000 per day in late January. On February 17th, Wuhan said the city was finally able to quarantine all people who might spread the virus. How did they do it? Walking, knocking, and more knocking. Li checks 1,000 residents' health status to uncover coronavirus cases within her jurisdiction, or what she calls the grid. She said my mother is Wang Wang Zui. Then she saw my father is very serious. She is very worried about me. Mom, Mom, come here. She said I am okay. This has become a daily routine for Wuhan's community workers during the outbreak. And to keep the virus away from the healthy population, the city has strengthened its lockdown measures. Everyone is ordered to stay home until further notice. Only residents with medical emergencies or those with jobs relating to fighting the epidemic are allowed to leave. Groceries are purchased online, left at the entrances, and picked up later to avoid contact. Staying at home might avoid unnecessary contact, but there's a price to pay. Nevertheless, demobilizing people in Wuhan is key to cutting off paths for the virus to spread. and in different ways that um, there's no question that China's bold approach to the rapid spread of this new respiratory pathogen has changed the course of what was a rapidly escalating and, and continues to be deadly epidemic. But 
I just thought it's so important that we recognize that, that to the people of Wuhan, uh, it is recognized that the world's in your debt. And uh, when this disease finishes, hopefully we'll have a chance to thank the people of Wuhan for the role that they've played in it, because many of us, uh, many of people here have suffered, but the people of that city have gone through an extraordinary period and they're still going through it. After the lockdown, it seems like an end is approaching. More and more provinces start to see no increase in confirmed cases. And in Wuhan, patients with coronavirus symptoms no longer need to wait for days for the nucleic acid test. The number of daily new cases is on the verge of dropping into double digits. Doctors and nurses can't relax, but the country is behind them. Yeah, good evening. 对我们的这种资助，我们就是生活上的改善，啊，人员上的改善，特别感激，是真心的感激。就是之前就以为就是我们自己，啊，对武汉的这种，啊，这样的。然后其实就知道，其实不是一个人在战斗，全国人民都在支持我们。我相信这次疫情给每一个人都会留下一个深刻的记忆。The battle isn't over. But people are now looking ahead to the day when love and life can resume. 我说潘多拉的盒子已经打开了，然后灾难、恐惧、疾病这些都跳出来了。然后，但是这个盒子里面最后的一样东西，就是我们看这个希腊神话里面他说的，就是希望。只要希望还在，那么之前的所有这些都不会是问题。